Nintendo Switch continues to dunk on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. My God, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the updated Nintendo Switch sales. The Nintendo Switch has now sold 132 million consoles, making it the third best-selling console of all time, right behind the DS and the almighty PlayStation 2. And look at that number of software, 1.1 billion copies of software that thing is absolutely damn incredible so the question is to you the question of why you're here and the question i'm gonna try to answer for you because quite frankly i can't figure out the answer is why why or oh why does a nintendo switch continue to mollywop the shit out of the ps5 and the xbox series x why is the nintendo switch now dominating two consoles in a row why is the nintendo switch now dominating two consoles in a row from the PlayStation and the Xbox brand. We started with the PS4 dominating there, now it's dominating the PS5. We started dominating the Xbox One, now it's dominating the Xbox Series X. So the question is, why or why is that continuing to happen? And I think the answer is pretty freaking straightforward. Because, you know, when it comes to me, all I hear all the time is that, you know, there's, there's, there's a certain company out there. Nobody wants to play Nintendo games anymore. Nobody wants to uh, have a hybrid console. Nobody gives a damn about Nintendo franchises. Nintendo needs to be, you know, more like Sony and Microsoft, yada, yada, yada. We're not too far away from all the doom and gloom that we used to hear back in 2017 before the Switch even dropped. You know, the Switch is doom on arrival. It's going to be a flail just like the Wii U and all that other garbage and regurgitated bullshit and rhetoric that we heard. But yet here we are, 2017 to 2023, and the Nintendo Switch continues to dominate it. Now, we need to put this in proper perspective here because I don't think y'all really understand what's actually going on. The Nintendo Switch sales increased this year. In its seventh year, it increased its sales usually you see a console really start to deplete and start to really wind down in its sixth or seventh year even if they make it that far in the console generation but here we are with nintendo switch has increased the number of fucking units it has sold in its seventh year y'all don't understand how crazy that is y'all don't understand how important that is because all i hear all the time all i hear all the time is about how you know the quote-unquote best first-party franchises on the market is belongs to the PlayStation brand and all those PlayStation experiences and you know you know that the last of us and God of War all like that or you know what I'm saying we, we might hear something even more crazier <laughs> even more crazier than that and we hear more about the Xbox brand now and how the Xbox is doing this damn thing and all this yada 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 but the fact of the matter is Nintendo is still on top. So why is that? Well, I think I have the answer for you. And I think it's pretty simple as this. Nintendo just has the best games and the best console. Nintendo has the best software and the best hardware. Yes, Nintendo has the best system on the market, and you can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> Wait a minute, why are you looking at me like that? No, 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 no. Don't rest to that keyboard. Don't rest to that keyboard and start being that keyboard, keyboard warrior typing and all that other garbage that you like to do. Just calm, calm down, calm down, calm down, and, and listen to what I have to say because what I'm what I'm saying is 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 pretty accurate. I can't understand for the life of me why people will say otherwise that they have the best, you know, games and the best system. You know what I'm saying? This is pretty obvious. I can't put my finger on it on why, you know, people continue to run out to buy these Nintendo consoles generation after generation, year after year. It is pretty, you know, remarkable to me. And I can't my finger on it is there's got to be something of a common denominator that makes people go out and buy nintendo products at record level le uh, record sales you know what i'm saying because we got tears of the kingdom that's sitting at 20 million you got mario Kart 8 that sold over 57 million there's got to be some resounding common denominator 
that I must not be seeing that is making people continue to buy into Nintendo products year in, year out. For the seventh year in a row, they just continue to buy into Nintendo's ecosystem and Nintendo games for some reason. I can't put my hand on it because I'm being told the best first party exclusive is on PlayStation. The biggest first party lineup is now on Xbox, but for some damn reason, I just cannot figure it out in my head. Why in the hell is these hundreds of millions of people going out and still buying, still buying Nintendo's products? Now, I don't know why you're still looking at me like this. Come on, dog. I'm asking you the question too, my guy. I'm asking you the question too. Sony drone will I'm asking you the question too so you you got you got to figure it out for me as well my guy I mean I can't do this all by myself I can't do it all my lonely you know what I'm saying you got to figure this out with me as well because I I don't know I don't have the answers anymore I don't have the answers anymore but um in all seriousness I think it's I think it's pretty simple um Nintendo possesses something that Sony and Microsoft simply do not have and that is they have the best games on the planet and they have the best console on the planet. When people seem to underestimate and, and not realize that this graphics and frame rate resolution war is really not what people want. It's really not what people want to buy into. It's pretty simple as this. They want great gaming. They want innovation. This is why Nintendo continues to dominate two consoles in on the sony side and two consoles in on the microsoft side and it ain't going to really change into sony or microsoft change and guess what i think that change is coming way quicker than we realize you know what i mean and you know it, you know the pc guys ain't really got nothing to do with this because they just worried about slapping on bare cheeks right now you know in that stupid ass game called Baldur's gate 3 but i digress so I just want to know what do y'all think the reason is because quite frankly I don't I, it can't be the games and it can't be the hardware because the hardware is trash and weak and nobody wants it and it can't be the games because nobody really wants to pick a Nintendo game over anything else so tell me tell me why you think the Nintendo Switch continues to beat the shit out of the PS5 and the Xbox Series X because I might be wrong Nintendo might not have the best games and the best hardware and the best consoles on the planet. But maybe you guys have the answer. And maybe you can educate me. And maybe for once, maybe I'm going to learn today.